In this paper, we explore three different interfaces for using a set of Wiimotes to control a dynamically simulated character. This interface uses the motion of the wrist to specify walking, running, and jumping. Walking is commanded with a smaller motion with the wrists moving out of phase. Running is specified with a faster motion with the wrists also moving out of phase. Jumping requires the wrist to move in phase. With this interface, the user swings his arms as he might while actually walking, running, or jumping. To specify walking, he keeps his arms straight. Running requires that the arms be bent. Jumping is similar to running except that the arms are moving in phase. The third interface requires attaching Wiimotes to the user's legs and head. The stepping motion of the legs specifies the gait and the orientation of the head determines the rate of turning. Slower stepping specifies walking. Faster stepping indicates running. Jumping with the legs in phase is a command to the character to jump. The final interface uses the Wii joystick to control the facing direction and velocity of the character. When the user wants the character to jump, he pushes a button. This longer clip shows a user successfully completing one of the four test tracks using the leg interface. We now show a few failures from our user tests. Here, the character fell during a transition from running to walking. The timing of this jump was not successful. The user failed to negotiate a corner. In this competitive game, one user creates the terrain while the other user controls the character. The new terrain is generated in front of the character's current position. A step is created by pushing a button and inclining the Wiimote vertically. A slope is created by inclining the Wiimote vertically without pushing a button. The sharpness of the curve is changed by inclining the Wiimote sideways.